Hello everyone, my name is Filipa and today I'm going to be playing Standard Best of One here on the MTDG Arena YouTube channel. I'm really excited to be here and I decided to bring a Golgari deck. I really like playing Golgari and I love this card, Bringer of the Last Gift. From the first time I drafted this card, I wanted to build a standard deck around it. And I tried. I tried to do a mono black deck, but I felt like I could never reach 8 mana. Mono black does not have a lot of ways to ramp. So then I had the idea. If I combine it with green, I can do a Golgari that ramps into this and you get to cast it not on turn 8, but maybe on turn 6. Uh, and that's why I came up with this list. Bringer of the Last Gift, it's an 8 mana 6-6 six, six flyer. Whenever it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, each player sacrifices all other creatures they control. So it acts like a board wipe, but you get to keep a 6-6 six, six flyer. Then each player returns all creature cards from their graveyard that weren't put this way into the battlefield. So everything that was already in the graveyard, all creatures, go back into the battlefield. These will work really well because this deck is designed to do two things. Exile creatures on your opponent's graveyard and get creatures in your graveyard. So then you bring a full army of creatures and your opponent gets nothing. How are we going to do that? We are playing two cut downs for removal, two Seed of Hope, which is an instant speed, you mill two cards. You may put a permanent card from among the milled cards into your hand and you gain two life. So already we are milling. We have two Bitter Triumph, you can always discard a creature that then you can get with Bringer. We have two Shieldred's Edict for removal. We have four Scrap Corgers for the ramp. We have two Moss Food Dead Knights. This is going to draw us cards and it's just a great card overall in Golgari. Tear Shander to remove some enchantment artifact or even creature. We have four Graveyard Trespassers. This is the idea. We play Trespasser. We exile something from our opponent's graveyard. Same with Scrap Gorger, because every time you tap the Scrap Gorger, you're going to also exile a card. So you can exile a creature from your opponent's uh, graveyard to make sure that they don't have any. We have two Lilianas, we can always plus get a creature from our hand into the graveyard. We can also use the minus two as removal. We have two Rens. Rens is going to, first of all, fix our mana. Then uh, we can just make a 3-3, but the idea is that you're going to use minus two, two mill cards, and then you can return a permanent card from among the mill cards into your hand. We are playing two Blissa, just because this is one of the best Golgari creatures. It is so good. Uh, and one of the good cards for you to get into your graveyard to then get it with Bringer. We are playing two Shieldreds, two Tortoise, Tortoise, once again, is going to not only ramp us, but also mill cards that then we can get with Bringer. So this is a two-in-one in this deck, and one of the best things you can do is turn two Scrap Gorger into turn three Tortoise. That is going to set you up for fast ramp and creatures in your graveyard. We have two Virtues of Persistent. This is not only a removal, but also as the seven mana part of it that can start getting creatures from the graveyard to the battlefield. And of course, three bringers of the last gift. In terms of lands, it's pretty basic. We are playing four Restless Kutash because once again, this land, it's not only a creature, but also when that creature attacks, you're going to create a foot token and you can exile a card. So another way to start exiling our opponent's graveyard. We have four Lunar or Wastes, four Death Cap Clades, four Forest, one Buseju, one Takanuma, and eight Swamps. I hope you like the idea of the deck. Now let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm really excited to play this game. Uh, this is not good. This is better. Ooh, it's some gruel action. I'm going to start with the land that it's tapped, just because I might need the green without it wanting to pay. Okay, that's perfect. We're already ramping, which is great. Ooh, okay. It's okay. We... Okay, that's very kind of them. What can I get? Ooh, a Ren. I'll take it. 
A PNLR is a bit annoying for obvious reasons. PNLR is such a great card. So we do not want. Okay. Two, three, that's fine. The issue is the other part of the card. I want to start exiling things. First of all, because we have Bringer in hand. Second of all, uh, so our scrap quarter gets a bit bigger. Ooh, red, restless, I like that. So I think I can play Glissa. And I'm okay with Glissa dying. I'm just not okay with Scrap Corger dying, because I do need the ramp. My plan for this game is to just play Bringer and win that way. No, do not kill my Scrap Corger, please. So I have one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, that's actually fine. Don't mind that at all. As long as I get to keep ramping, the key num mana is 8. Rocco, okay, so they also give me a card that I can play with, that's really nice. Oh, I got a Ren. We do need to start um, getting more cards in the grave. Blossoming can also ramp us, that's great. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm getting closer. So now the doctors are the issue. I don't have creatures yet in my grave, but I know that that can change soon. I don't want to exile anything from my grave. Uh, I guess a forest is fine. Actually, Bitter Triumph is fine. Doesn't matter. I didn't need to do that. I just forget that they had uh, no cards in the grave. Which is fine. Death. The worst part about this is the ramp. Oh no. Okay. Now they know that I have Bringer. No, they know my plan to bring it back to life. To bring me my last gift. That makes sense. If I get a land, I can just play it. Trap Burger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm I'm getting closer. Another Boba Can enters the battlefield. So this unfortunately gives them structural, so the bringer actually does not. Although it's sacrifice. Never mind, it's sacrifice. Oh, they are doomed. It doesn't say destroy, it says sacrifice. So I can take 
9, 9, 10, 15. To increase my odds, or I can just avoid, but that increases my odds quite a lot if I don't block, because then I can attack. I'll do it enter stop, so it does not matter. So I'm just going to block the bigger creature. Talent! Look at this, look at this. Okay, my dream. Come on. <laughs> ah, that's so good. I mean, we still didn't win, but we are close. Er, this also flies, which is good because those topters are a bit annoying. going to be quite the situation there. I might be forgetting about my bringer, I don't know. Maybe they are just playing it safe. Let's see if they use... Okay. They did not use this. Very interesting. Use restless cottage. They are so low on life. Yeah, GG. We got there. I was just too excited about their bringer. I go first, and this is really good. We have the ramp going on, which is amazing, especially on the plate. Okay, let's start with the ramping. I mean, being able to cast a two toys turn three on the play is really, really powerful and can set us up for the old game. They are playing green, which doesn't have a lot of removal, so that's good for us. They're trying to ramp themselves, but that's fine. So some dino, mono green dino. I, I really like that deck. I played it before. Okay, gruel, gruel dino. I take it back. Okay, Carnosaurus is really strong. Mm. Okay, so let's exile it so it doesn't get back with the Pontiologist. And at this point I have removal. Ooh, yeah, that needs to go. I love Ren, but these goes. Mm, it has to be my creature, so I can get the creatures back to the bringer. Bring me back. Let's go. Bringer of the last gift. We love this card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next turn I can cast it. So I want to do some fun things. They do know that I'm able to cast it, though. Yeah, so that's not as fun. No. So one thing I want to do is this. Everything burns. Search past the walls of this realm. Okay.
I want to see if they double block. No double block. Then you know what? I don't need to play it. Nobody knows Dominaria shadows like me. <sighs> Sacrifices must be. There's other ways to win the game. Just the fact that they know that I have it, they are going to play in a way that is not the best. And I can just keep it in end if I want. Worst case scenario, I get a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, now I'm getting convinced. So, 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 what do I want to do? Look how they play scared. They take damage that they wouldn't need to take otherwise. Okay, never mind. Mm, actually. I didn't want to do that, but I can. I can just do a forest, no problem. So, they can exile one of my creatures. But I still get a flyer. They get nothing. I still get a scrap burger. Mm, let's, let's discard persistence. Won't be Ooh, Gitash, that's that's concerning. Okay, we got it. I could keep exiling things with Scrap Gorger or even my land, the Restless Kutaj, and then play Bringer. That's the good thing about the Bringer, is that it's so versatile when you play it. Ooh, I like these a lot. I mean, we do have our Bringer, we have some ramp. Actually, we have a lot of ramp. I'm going to start with this land top because I don't have a turn one play anyway. That way I'm sure my man is fixed. So let's get our scrap border going. I don't think against Mono Red I can cast Brinker, but I'm sure if I do, that's like cross check on a bullet point. So, might be Felden. Oh, Sea Spear. Okay. I have to take the damage. Monstrous Rage. Oh, so he's fired. Okay. I really need to ram. Play as many things as I can. Unfortunately, this gets exiled, so I really want the Kumano to die. Because it. Then my bringer is not bringing. Okay. okay. Is there more? Just like that face. That's really scary. The first strike that touch is always great. They need to remove that. Okay, let's exile that.
No. Okay, let's see if they find it. Okay. Maybe. Another one? Okay, that's fine. So I don't have enough mana for these yet. But I can do that to try to gain life. Which, trust me, I will try to do. Right away, actually. Just because if they top deck something, it makes it puts me in a weird position. Ooh, that's good. They cannot get anything though, because I've been exiling. But still, it has... It has aced. Glissa just carried the game, by the way. Glissa alone carried this game. This card is so good. Opponent goes first. I do have a good end. I like it. Um, I love Restless Pitage. Ooh. It's more red. It's not going to be easy, but I hope it's going to be worth it. Good thing is we can kill the Felden, but we're always going to be a bit behind. I'm going to discard a land. Against red, I just need to try to survive. With them on the play, it's not easy. I do have Trespasser. Looks like they might be having trouble on lands. Then I have Shili. Oh, and the festivities. Okay, so let's play Shili. land they can only choose one okay so there is the land hopefully no oh okay that's really good no lightning bolt basket forge is okay Spasser is great. Yeah, in that point is just we just recouped. That's all you need to do against uh, Mono Red. You just have to try to recuperate slow and steady, and hope that they are stuck on mana. Mm, I go first, and I can keep it because I do have Seed of Hope. I'm actually going to start with the Cottage. Ooh. It's my biggest nightmare. Mono red. So, Bringer is great and all, but I don't know if I can cast it against Mono red. Mm. Mono red is too fast. I just need to try to survive. Okay. Not falling for that.
I have removal, I can save it. I can also draw cards, but that costs me life. Felon is good. So it just got even better. And I keep the Peter Triumph. All going according to plan. Godric is annoying. Cards. Two lands, that's. And I think play with fire? Yeah. So they can play with fire, my trespasser. But that's it. No more cards. And now we're both on a top deck game. Let's go for the creatures. The rest of Scoopage is enough to win me the game, just because it's a 4-4. That makes me food tokens that I can gain life with. Yeah. I mean, land ain't going to do it. Land is not it. Mm. I'm going to say yes just because I have the Dread Knight that can draw cards, but this is not ideal. It's a fellow Bulgari enjoyer. Okay, now we are curving. Ooh. It has to be cut down. Could have been Lily, but I really want to ramp. That's okay. My stamina Ooh, we have the bringer. That's great. For sure there's removal for Shili, but I have another one. And getting it in the grave is really nice. This also has um, white, so it's Absen. Bye bye, Shili. And bye bye, Lily. Let's do this, they trade, and then I can exile the graveyard trespasser. Let's play another one. I don't mind getting these in the grave. If I do get bringer, I want my things to be in the graveyard. Numa actually makes my life a bit difficult. But no creature is bingo for us. Yeah, I mean... Good game. Didn't get the white though, I think it's just for the parish. 
First of all, I really hope you enjoyed the games. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Bringer of the Last Gift appeared even early and more times than I imagined, and the deck worked pretty well with exiling things from our opponent's graveyard and making sure we had a very strong bringer. And overall, the synergy did work pretty well, uh, even without it. So let me know what you think. Uh, cut cards to cut, in the end, I like to think about things that I could change. Maybe Virtue was not great, maybe we can play more Bitter Triumphs instead. We didn't get to optimize these. Uh, otherwise, I think the deck worked pretty well. It is not tire one, but it's tire fun, and you can definitely get wins with it. So let me know if you're going to try this deck, and let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Once again, I'm Philippa. Thank you so much for MTG Arena to invite me to be here on the official YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.